What's up, mentorship freaks? It's a daily dose of the mentorship motivator, dropping some bombs. Today we're talking about real bombs. This is my one of my favorite, favorite topics you could ever talk about, aggressively attacking at all times, at all times. And we're going to talk about from a couple of different areas, what exactly do I mean by aggressively attacking? And we're not even talking about the enemy here. We're talking about aggressively attacking first your leads and your prospects, your leads, the, and aggressively attacking the follow-up. That's why we call it monster follow-up. You've heard it. We've, we've done videos on it here. We've talked about it. That's why Bedros calls it the monster follow-up system that he, that he does. And because you need to aggressively attack until you get what you what you want and those prospects get what they need, which is your freaking services. So you need to, it's your, it's your duty and obligation to aggressively attack them, to get them to come in and try out your services aggressively and unapologetically, like not giving a fuck about, oh, I might uh, offend someone or I'm going to call someone too many times and they're going to report me. Who the fuck are they going to report you to? Then nothing's going to happen. You call someone five times, they didn't get back to you yet. Guess what? Call them again. Call them again. Text them. Call them. Email them. Stalk, Facebook stalk them. Send them a Facebook message, an Instagram message, whatever. Attack. You need to be like a savage when it comes to this stuff. Like blood dripping from your fucking fangs, like a wolf hunting in the in the night in the in the forest. That's what you need to be like. Because guess what? Those leads, those prospects, they need you to attack them. They need it. They don't even know they need it. They don't think they need it, but they need you to attack them. That's why they raised their hand and filled out some opt-in form or whatever or reached out to you. You got their information somehow. They said, "I Peak Physique, I need your fucking help to come and save my life. That's what they did. So it's your obligation to attack them until you do that. Because listen, this is what got them into the situation they're in the first place. Things like not answering your phone calls and not following up with you. They fill out a form online because they want some information and they never contact you again. That's how they got into the situation they're in now where they're, cause they're just weak, lazy, undisciplined freaking humans. They're mortals. They need your help. And that's why they're filling out forms online or, or sending emails asking you and then they're never following up. So it's up to you to aggressively attack those leads and those prospects until you get them to come in and try your services, try your product, show them what you're all about, make them fall in love with you and and service the fuck out of them every time. This is why they're not returning your phone calls, they're not returning your emails, they're not showing up to their their consultations or showing up to meetings and appointments with you because that's the exact behavior, that's who they are, that's why they need you to help them in whatever way that you're going to provide those services for them to help them get through that because they don't have structure and discipline and that, that's what made them dig themselves so deep into a hole. So you need to aggressively attack them, but then after that, take care of them and over deliver on what you're telling them you're going to do. Treat them like fucking gold afterwards. Then they're in your circle. You need to take care of them and protect them. Like this dog Tyson on our logo. When he was like two or three years old, we got a second dog. Those first two to three days that second dog was in the house, Tyson tried to kill him, literally tried to kill him for like two or three days straight that he was in the house. After that, they were best friends. He would protect that dog with his life. And he did many times, no matter what, they were best friends for like 10, 12 years after that. It's the same thing. You need to aggressively go after it. Put your foot down. This is who we are. This is what we do. This is how I'm going to help you. You need to follow my lead. Be the fucking leader that those people need you to be and go out there and aggressively do it and then shelter them. Protect them, defend them, take care of them. That's exactly what you need to do. It's like Marine Corps boot camp. It's the same thing. Or a college fraternity, getting someone into a fraternity. You got to go out there and recruit those people. You attack them, get them to, to come and see, and, and see your way of doing things that's going to help them and what they need, and then take care of them, have their back no matter what, and fucking protect them, De defend them, provide coverage for them, defense defense systems for them. When it comes to your team also, same game. You need to you need to ag be aggressive with your team, aggressively attack your team in performing to your high standards and expectations. Aggressively attack your team in servicing the the hell out of every client that that walks through your doors or uses your product or your service. Aggressively attacking them, but then afterwards and at the same time, keep them safe, protect them, keep food on their freaking tables. That's what they need. Because listen, who do you want to starve? You want your kids to starve, your families to starve, your teams, kids, and families to starve? Or do you want your enemies and your competitors, teams, and kids, and families to starve? It's your choice. 
It's about are you going to go out there and aggressively attack it and make this stuff happen? Or are you just going to sit back and be too afraid of the way you're going to look or how people might think you're, you are or acting or whatever? Fuck that. Other, 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 your competitors, other businesses, they're, they're going to be nice and fat and full eating your food. That's what they're going to be doing if you don't go out there and aggressively take it like that wolf hunting in the fucking woods. That's what you need to do. Because otherwise, you're just failing your members, failing your team, failing your prospects if you're not always, all the time, aggressively attacking, moving freaking forward. Listen, it's a, it's a freaking war out there. So you need to get aggress- be aggressive with your lead, lead follow-up, your lead generation, first of all your recruiting of your team, get just as aggressive with finding team members. You should be aggressively out there, blood dripping at your fangs, finding the best people in your area to join your team, to be on your staff. You should be just as aggressive with finding team members as you are with finding leads for your business. Just as aggressive with your current members as you are with potential and past members. You need to be on the aggressive all the time. And your team needs it because guess what? They're relying on you. They're relying on you. So you need to hold yourself accountable to all these people. You're going out there and putting fancy Facebook ads and all these videos and all this fancy shit that we train and we study, and it's all awesome, but you need to back that shit up then by being accountable, being aggressive, by following through what you're saying, being accountable to the prospects that are coming in, to your leads and prospects, being accountable to your team, to your kids, your family, the people in your circle. Your team is relying on you to come through, to get them leads. To, to build revenue in the business. They're relying on you to put food on their fucking table to feed their kids, to pay their rent. They're relying on you, on you. Hold yourself accountable to all those people. And is it a lot of pressure? Fuck yeah, it's a lot of pressure on you. At, but, th- but that's why you're who you are. That's why you do what you do the way you do it. Because you can handle that pressure. That's why we're entrepreneurs. That's why we're, we're, we're doing what we do. Because we can handle that stuff. We, we know that that's what's required, and we're built for that shit. So is it going to be a lot of pressure? Hell yeah, it's going to be a lot of pressure. All those people in all those areas rely on you, the prospects who need your help, the current members who need results and need to change their fucking lives, your current your current clients, your team members, your family, all them are looking at you. They're relying on you to come through, come through for them, to feed them, help them pay their freaking bills. Teach them how to be a better person. Be their leader. Be their fucking guide. Be their mentor. That's what they're looking for. A lot of pressure. Hell yeah. But you can only do it if you're constantly, aggressively attacking full, full, straight forward, full steam ahead all the time. You need to be doing that. Take care of them. Aggressively defending them. Aggressively protecting them. Giving them shelter. And giving them a peace of mind and freedom. That's what, that's what we're talking about by being aggressive. We're not talking even about the enemies right now. Of course, we're talking about aggressively attack those enemies. Fuck those motherfuckers. But you don't even need, you will be aggressively attacking your enemies if you first aggressively attack your leads, your current members, your staff, your family. Then you'll be, by doing that, your competition doesn't even exist. They get fucking destroyed because you built an army that's going to all be working on your team, aggressively attacking with you because you're doing your due diligence and holding yourself accountable to all those people that rely on you. So attack, fucking attack all the time. In the Marine Corps, in boot camp, I don't know if they do it anymore because they're getting soft nowadays. You see on the movies that they say yes, sir, to all the to acknowledge any command. In the Marine Corps, at least when I was in there, you didn't say yes, sir, to acknowledge a command. If they said, "Go tie your boots," you don't say yes, sir. They'll tell you go tie your boots. You'd repeat it back to them. Go tie your boot. We we repeat the command back. They would say, "Move or." do it or whatever to acknowledge for you to actually take the action, your response every time, we'd say tens of thousands of times a day, was kill. That's how we did it because you need to be aggressive in everything. How you do anything is how you do everything. So aggressively attack your fucking day. Aggressively attack your marketing, your follow-up of your leads. Aggressively attack leading your team and teaching them and coaching them and making them better. Get aggressive with them all. Be accountable for them. They all rely on you. I will talk to you later. This is Mentorship Motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.